Welcome everyone to the women's basketball wrap-up and preview for next season. I'm Gaur Vla, joined by Cole Emplett and Patrick Engels. Today we're just going to be talking about the successful women's basketball season and going into the 22-23 season. So let's get right into it. Obviously it was one of the best years in recent memory. Uh, regular season co-Big Ten champs split that with Iowa. And the season ended with a close uh, loss to number two Texas. And uh, no shame in that, Texas ended number six overall as well. Ohio State finished top 10 in points per game, field goal percent and three point percent, all amazing marks. And Taylor Mikesell finished uh, a finalist for the Ann, My Ann Myers Drizzle Award for the top shooting guard of the nation. So Cole, I'm gonna send it to you about uh, Madison Green's injury really impacted the team last season. Um, she averaged 13.4 points per game, 4.3 assists, and 1.7 steals for junior season. What do you think she's bringing back to the team this year? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, to first start about it, it was really devastating for this Ohio State team. You know, just days before the first game, Madison going down with that knee injury. Um, and like you mentioned, she averaging just above 13.5 points, but she also leads the team in assists. So getting that, you know, dynamic point guard back for this Buckeyes team, be able to lead that offense along with Sheldon and Mike, so it's going to be a real turning point. How we talked about in that tournament, that game against Texas, um, games coming down the wire, you know either Mike Seller or Sheldon are going to get the ball, but now you have Madison Green be able to run the offense a little better. It creates more spacing on the floor, more shoes available for Ohio State, and I think they're just going to use that to their offensive advantage. You know, this Ohio State team was third in the Big Ten in offensive efficiency, and I think they're going to keep adding to that with Madison Green coming back. Yeah, I definitely think, obviously, you have JC and Taylor, uh, like you said. Um, I think another big, big part uh, of someone leaving, I guess, it, now that Madison Green's coming back, Braxton Miller's leaving, um, and she kind of took Taylor Theory under her wing. So how do you how do you guys think uh, Theory is gonna play into now that playing to the team have a bigger role now that Braxton's Braxton's leaving? Yeah, I think Theory is gonna be an X factor. She had a great freshman campaign, and it wasn't really till that second half of the season when she really stepped up. She's seventh in the Big Ten in blocks per game. That really came out saying using her height and her effectiveness, just being able to you know rebound, block shots, everything like that. I think. She's going to be able to help this Buckeyes defense turn into a really good defensive team. And, you know, obviously you have the offensive stars there, but I think she'll be a real turning point for this Buckeyes team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I also think uh, you have Theory, Green, Sheldon, all averaging what plus one plus steals per game. Um, if they can all come together on that defensive end, I think you already have a phenomenal offense like you saw this year. If they can come together, I think Ohio State, the Ohio State team is really going to be great on the defensive end as well. Pat, I'm going to turn it over to you. How do you think... Taylor Mikesell returning. She announced last week she's returning for, for a fifth season. How do you think her returning is going to impact the team? Yeah, well, I think Mikesell returning is going to be really huge for Iowa State, especially obviously on the offensive end. Uh, last year, she was one of the most consistent scorers in not only the Big Ten, but even the nation, too. She ranked the uh, uh, start of a game, ranked uh, second in the nation with a 47.5 three point field goal percentage, uh, just under 19 points a game. Uh, so she really emerged in that first season as a really uh, key offensive threat for the Buckeyes. And uh, moving forward for next season, I really think that. With Mike Stahl returning, it's going to turn this uh, Ohio State backcourt to one of really one of the best in the nation. Uh, so, like you said, with uh, Madison Green returning, uh, Mike Stahl, and obviously uh, J.C. Sheldon too. Uh, Sheldon obviously she led the team with uh, 19.7 points a game. So, having those three back uh, for uh, in the offseason, creating more chemistry, really improving their game, uh, I think that's really going to help Ohio State uh, really turn them into really like a formidable uh, force next season. Yeah, definitely. I, I definitely agree with that. Obviously, Mike Stahl a phenomenal player this year on both ends of the floor. Uh, almost shooting 50, 40, 90 numbers, ridiculous. Um, I want to kind of shift it over to the big situation. Obviously we have, we still have Rebecca Mikulasikova returning. Um, how do you guys think she's going to impact the game? Uh, and how, how do you think the other bigs are going to impact the game this season? Yeah, well, uh, Mikulasikova, she had a great uh, season, her first, first starting season. Uh, she shows some promise. Uh, she, she was third in the team with 9.4 points a game. Uh, led the team in rebounds at five, so she really saw some promise there. But I think uh, moving forward next year, I think we really need to see uh, really even more production out of her, uh, especially in like the defensive end with rebounding. Um, I know like a lot of times last season she really got uh, out rebounded and really out physical by some of the best uh, Big Ten bigs such as uh, Naz Hillman, Mackenzie Holmes. So I think if she could really uh, hone in on that and really uh, help her defense and really pick up her game with her defense and rebounding. And not only just her, uh, even like just Gabby Hutcherson, mm -hmm. uh, Taylor Theory, like you said, if those three can really uh, come together and work on the uh, defensive games and rebounding, I think uh, they can really uh, become more of like a complete team uh, next year. Yeah, definitely. I do think, I will say that I, those three players you mentioned will definitely uh, provide another spark on the defensive end, but uh, now you have Kateri Poole entering the transfer portal. She was a huge defensive uh, part 
player on the team this uh, past season. How do you think her transfer is going to impact the team come, uh, going into next season? Yeah, definitely. Uh, she started the season as well in that starting lineup before going down with an injury. And ever since then, it didn't really look like she was the same player that we saw before. So maybe just leaving Ohio State to get a fresh chance, a new fresh start, is something she'll be looking into. But like we talked about, uh, Pat, especially you saying Mikola Shakova, someone that needs to step a little more, and Taylor Theory needs to step up. The Ohio State defense was 10th out of 14 the Big Ten Conference in points allowed. So they're definitely going to need a big turnaround to help that efficient offense they have going forward. Yeah, and I mean, you have Kateri, you have Poole leaving the team, but then you have three star recruits coming in next season. Kaya Henderson, New Hartford High School, she, uh, she's a guard. Her junior season, she averaged 30, 33 points per game. Uh, although it was a COVID year, only six, uh, six games, um, she, she, you can see she averaged almost 25 points per game as a sophomore. She, she, you know she's not going anywhere in terms of scoring. Um, and, and really in a stack guard room, where do you think she's, she is 5'6", so maybe she might not get a lot of time because of her height, but you know, in a stack guard room, where do you think she can really fit there? Uh, well, I think, obviously it's a, it's a huge guard room, but she can really provide some depth. I know uh, a lot of times last season they really relied really on just Mike Sell and Sheldon. So I think if really uh, even you know, the recruits or even just like one of the players on the team, maybe like uh, 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 Ricky Harris and maybe even the recruits too, they can really provide for that, uh, that, that third option for scoring uh, to be like really less reliant on Sheldon and Mike Sell. So I think if they can uh, really be more, uh, I guess, uh, have that third option, I think they can really uh, be better on the offensive end. Yeah, definitely. I think also uh, Cody, Mc Cody McMahon is another recruit coming in, four-star forward from Centerville High School, not too far from here. Uh, she really increased her offensive production each year of high school. What do you think that's going to add into the big room uh, going into next year? Yeah, kind of like what we talked about, Mikla Shakova, you have Gabby Hutcherson and even Taylor Theory now stepping up. But, you know, none of those three exactly could be a dominant ball scorer. So hopefully seeing something like that coming in for Ohio State is exactly what they need. Talked about Patrick, they weren't very, you know, in depth, depth last year. They relied heavily on Sheldon and Mike Sell as their guard play. But if they can really get someone down low who can also provide damage on the offensive end, they'll be a really scary team going forward in the Big Ten. Definitely, yeah. I think the last, the last player, the last recruit coming in next season, Maya Perry, a guard from Reynolds, Reynoldsburg High School, also not too far from here. She was named to SB Live's All Ohio Second Team as a senior, and she was named an All League First Team as a sophomore. So you can really see she improved that potential every year she went up. Even her uh, teammate was even named to the SB Live's All Ohio Player of the Year. So I think if, if Perry McMahon and Henderson all come in, they can really add a, a boost to both both ends of the floor. Really, um, so that that's all we have today with Ohio State. I'm Garvlaw, Cole Emplett, and Pat Angles. Till next time.